everybody, my name is James. Today I'm going to tell you about the positive mindset. I'm using the show of hands. Huh? How many of you have ever been in a hard or negative situation? Whoa, that's a lot of you. Well, I certainly have and I'm here to tell you about my negative situation. First, let me tell you about my experience. One day I was a gymnastic and there was no one there except for my team and I. The whole gym to ourselves. So we thought we could be a little silly. Actually, let me be honest here. We were really silly like doing instant flips, talking when the teacher was talking and running around chasing each other. It was bad. It was completely unacceptable. My coach seemed to be mad because it was basically all the things she had previously told us not to do. As you might have had expected, we had a consequence. The consequence was to run the stairs. You might think that's not hard, but think about it in this way. Some people have trouble walking the running the stairs. And we and let alone them running the stairs running without stopping and there are seventeen stairs in the staircase and we need to run it five times. It's eighty five steps. Seems hard, right? Well it was until I told myself to keep it positive. It was at least one hundred stairs. When I keep positive, everything stopped being so hard. It became easier. So I do that every time now. It doesn't just go for gymnastics. It goes for anything that's hard or negative. I wanted to do some research about keeping positive and I did. The first article I read says, People are most participating in activities, sports, and even more if they have a growth mindset and if they are positive. The second article I read says, kids are most likely to succeed in school if they have a growth mindset and if they are positive. The last but not certainly the least article I read, Red says, if you don't have a growth mindset, meditating, having a gratitude journal, or a diary could help. If you don't know what an advice journal or a diary is, an, a gratitude journal is something you write in your feelings, <laughs> write in what you're grateful for. And a diary is something you write in your you know, write your feelings in. So I think you should definitely try having it. If you make a mistake, it doesn't mean you have failed. It just means you have learned and get back up and tell yourself you can do it. It doesn't just take two minutes to learn. It takes more than that. As you can see, having a growth mindset and being positive could really impact your life. So I think you should definitely try having it. Thank you for listening to my Thank you.